Hi, this is Amato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful and famous chess game. This is the game between Emmanuel Lasca and Johann Hermann Bauer that was played in Amsterdam in 1889. And where is Amsterdam? Amsterdam is the capital city of the Netherlands. In this game Lasca had white pieces and he started with f4, indicating that he wants to play birds opening. d5 e3 knight to f6 b3 a6 bishop to b2 bishop to e7 bishop to d3 both bishops are aiming at black's king side b6 knight to c3 bishop to b7 knight to f3 Knight from b to d7, Lasca castle at kingside, so did Bauer, knight to e2, taking knight to the kingside, c5, knight to g3, queen to c7, knight to e5, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, attacking queen. Queen to c6, queen to e2, improving position of the queen and connecting rooks, a6 and knight to h5. If black plays something like d4, then bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, pawn takes and pawn structure around black's king would be very bad. So in this position black played very logical very logical looking move. Knight takes on h5. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? First move that comes to mind is queen takes knight on h5. But then after f5 blocking h7 from queen and bishop black is okay. So queen takes knight is not the move. The move is Bishop takes pawn on h7 check. King takes bishop and now queen takes knight check. King to g8. But how to continue now? If queen to g4 threatening checkmate then f6 and black is okay. Probably black would be winning. So what is the move then? When uh, remember in this position when white sacrificed bishop he already knew what to do in this position. Can you see it? The move is bishop takes on g7 threatening checkmate with queen on h8. So king takes bishop queen to g4 check if king goes to f6 then Queen to g5 checkmate. So king to h7 and now rook lift that is checkmate on h3. So black played e5, rook to h3 check, black blocked with queen, rook takes queen, king takes rook and it is white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? The right move is queen to d7 forking bishops. Bishop to f6. Queen takes bishop on b7. King to g7. Rook to f1. White wants to open file 
F file for his rook. Rook from A to B8. It is a way to move. He can take pawn on A6. He can take pawn on D5 with his queen. But no. He was interested in getting black king. He wanted to get to G4. So, queen to D7. Rook from F to D8 attacking queen. Queen to G4 check. King to F8. Pawn takes pawn. Can black capture pawn on E5? He played bishop to G7. Why he didn't take pawn? What do you think why? What would white play in this position? The winning move is queen to e6, threatening checkmate on f7, and winning bishop. Okay, so in the game bishop to g7 was played. Now e6, threat is rook takes on f7. Rook to b7, defending. Queen to g6. f6. And white is crushing through. Rook takes pawn, check. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop, check. King to e8. Queen to h8, check. King to e7. And then we have skewer or x-ray attack. King takes pawn. Queen takes rook. Black could have resigned in this position. But he kept playing. Rook to d6, queen takes pawn, d4, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, h4, d3, white made a move, and black resigned. Laska captured pawn on d3 with queen. Of course, rook can take, but then pawn takes rook. In this position, black had enough and he resigned. What a powerful attack by Laska, wasn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.